Okay, but really, haven't we all been there? Someone lays a guilt trip on us so thick, it's like, whoa, where'd the fog machine come from? Oh, absolutely. It's like a relationship telenovela, right? Oh, totally. You know, the size, the if yeah. you really love me? Yeah. Yeah, oh, the whole bit. The whole bit. Well, you sent me this excerpt, super fascinating, from understanding partner-based guilt tripping. Mm -hmm. And I thought, deep dive time. Let's do it. Let's unpack this psychology. What I thought was so interesting was this connection the excerpt makes between guilt tripping and attachment styles. Oh. Like yeah. people who are anxious in relationships, they maybe use guilt as this almost like a subconscious way to just like hold on tighter. So it's not always malicious. Not necessarily, no. It's this weird survival tactic. It can be, yeah. Wow. And it can also be tied to like a fear of just straight up rejection. Like oh. it feels safer to kind of imply a need, you know, versus risking that flat out no. Oh, that makes sense. Right? Like the classic, if you really loved me. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So knowing this, what can we do? The excerpt gives us actually some pretty cool steps. Oh, good. One that really stood out to me was emotional labeling. Okay. And it's basically you say out loud how you're feeling in the moment. Got it. But you do it without blame. Oh, interesting. Like, hey, I'm sensing some guilt here, but I'm also feeling kind of overwhelmed. That's so interesting yeah. because it's not putting them on the defensive. No. But you're not letting their guilt trip, like, take you hostage either. Yeah, totally. That's like calmly holding up a mirror. It is. It yeah, is. I like it. And the excerpt really hits on boundaries, too. Oh, yeah. Not walls, but like clear lines of responsibility. Yeah. Like, this is my deal. That's yours kind of thing. Okay. Makes sense. Don't know. Boundaries. Yeah, that's huge. Huge. What other strategies did you find in here? I mean, this excerpt's like solid gold. Right. There's one. It's called Direct Ask Alternatives. And this is where you encourage your partner, like really encourage them to just say what they need. Directly. Really. No guilt trip detour. Guilt detours, yeah. So instead of, if you actually cared about my happiness, you do this. Yeah. It's more like, hey, can you help me with this? Exactly. Straight up. It's like trading smoke signals for a text message. Yes. Clarity. Be better. And then the excerpt also talks about positive reinforcement. Oh, interesting. When your partner does express a need directly, you acknowledge it. Like, good job. Yes, exactly. You appreciate the way they communicated. Reward the good behavior. It's like relationship puppy training. I love that. Right. But instead of treats, it's validation. Oh, way better. Yeah, who doesn't like validation? Totally. And then, you know, sometimes things get heated. Oh, yeah. Even when you're both trying to be good, mm -hmm. it's important to recognize when a conversation's going down that guilt trip rabbit hole mm -hmm. and just take a break. Step away. Step away. Cool. To Don't try to solve relationship drama while hangry. Exactly. That's good life advice in general. It really is. But I'm curious, does the excerpt say anything about like preventing these situations altogether? It does. It suggests building in these regular check-ins, okay. like make it a routine. It's mm. a safe space to talk about What's working, what's not. Before the resentment builds. Right. And then you air out any needs, so there's less chance of a guilt trip eruption later. So proactive communication instead of guilt bombs. Gold. Go, go, go. I am here for that. And, you know, sometimes, especially if the guilt tripping is a pattern, yeah. professional help can be amazing. Like couples therapy? Yeah. A therapist can give you tools okay. to break free from those unhealthy cycles. Like since you need a referee sometimes. Right. Okay, well, we covered a lot. We did. Why guilt trips happen, what they look like, and like how to handle them. It's all about recognizing them. Yeah. Understanding yeah. what's really going on underneath. And responding in a way that actually H-E-L-P-S the relationship. So ditch the guilt grenades. Yeah. Go for open communication. Exactly. It. Trade manipulation for connection. That's it. It's a good point though, right? Like think about those times when maybe you were the one kind of laying down the guilt trip. Oh, yeah. We've all been there. Maybe not even on purpose, but, you know, to get what you wanted. It happens. Was there a better way, a more direct way to say, hey, I need this? Right. Exactly. And it's not about blaming anyone. No, no, totally. It's about, like, giving ourselves and our partners a chance to really connect. Authentically. Yeah. Instead of all the drama. Dish the drama. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we've officially unpacked this emotional baggage. I think so. Thanks for going deep with us on Guilt Trips. My pleasure. Until next time, remember, keep it real. Open and honest, yeah. You deserve relationships built on respect, real connection, and way less guilt. Absolutely.